y'all? It's your girl V Lee back with another video. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. As y'all can tell, my voice a little raspy or whatever. I went ahead and put on a shirt because I didn't want to be in, in the video naked. So y'all wouldn't be thinking I got some type of little freaky OnlyFans shit going on. But yeah, I'm getting ready because today is my first day of acting classes. And I'm excited. I'm finna get ready, go get me something to eat somewhere, sit down and eat. Because my class ain't until 10. And then I gotta run by the post office or whatever. So y'all can get ready with me. I literally stay up all night long. Like all night, literally. Um, But first of all, before I get into that story, let me go ahead and brush my teeth. I wake up talking to a camera and ain't brush my teeth yet. People will take out their phone and record you and put you all on the internet. And I can't be caught looking crazy. So... I might, even though I might just do something basic to my face, like just put on some foundation or some lashes and like just feel my brows in, I just feel like I gotta do something. I'm literally just about to put some foundation on my face and call it a day. Foundation and lashes, honey. I really like, she put on foundation and ain't put on no lip gloss. <laughs> Okay, now that I got my lips moisturized, so y'all don't be looking at it like, damn, her lips dry. I want to turn on some music so bad, but y'all know how YouTube be doing, chair. I ain't got time for no um copyright infringement stuff. So I'm going to just ride in silence for now. Maybe that's what I need anyway to meditate and get my life together this morning. You gonna be in the fast lane? Let's keep it moving, goddamn. But y'all, I don't know whether I wanna go to Waffle House or Thumbs Up. Thumbs Up got some good food. I think I'm gonna go to Thumbs Up. Like I was saying in the house, like I'm nervous about taking this acting class because I haven't taken an acting class since college. So that's since 2014, okay? 2014. I don't know what to expect. And I chose to start off at the bottom. Even though like I have been acting for a couple of years, I decided to start in the beginner's class. I really should be ashamed of myself because if I'm calling myself an actress, then I should have been in acting classes. And sometimes as actors and actresses and even people in general, we get comfortable and we get complacent with where we are in life. And that's what pretty much happened with me with acting. I felt like, oh, because I've been booking stuff on my own for the past couple of years, that I was doing okay, which I'm not, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I've been booking stuff, but it has all been, let's, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 with y'all. It's been low budget as hell, or not paying at all, and they just wanna give you IMDB credit, which is cool when you first starting off, but I'm not trying to be doing that shit for the rest of my life, okay? You ain't finna know me as no extra 10 years from now or the girl who just had a cameo. No, uh-uh, or one or two lines. No, ma'am. I got dreams of being a A-list actress, okay? Y'all gonna see my name on big screens. Y'all gonna be like, damn, y'all, when that next B-League movie coming out? That's how I wanna be. That's what I feel like these acting classes is gonna take me to. I'm one of the ones that didn't want to listen. I'm not gonna even front. Didn't want to take advice. People been telling me, "V, you need to get an acting classes," because that's the and that's the reason why I'm going so hard about going to this acting class. Like I'm up at hella early. It's all about networking in this business. And with me going to these acting classes, not only is it gonna make me a better actress, but it's also opening doors because these people in these acting classes they have access to shit that we don't have access to on our own like they can put me in front of a talent agency a talent manager who is gonna book me some shit you feel me so that's where that's that's what it's all about baby i'm trying to get to the bag i'm trying to leave my legacy here and i'm trying to be the best actress that i know how to be y'all sometimes i miss living downtown but i don't miss all this traffic and stuff look i used to live over here y'all Okay, so this is Thumbs Up, y'all. This the one on Edgewood. I decided to come to Edgewood because it's 
less traffic. The one that's on Marietta Street is way, 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 way too busy. And I want to eat in peace. Chad and walked in and seen somebody. I ain't seen about what, three years? Three, four years. So I low key feel bad taking up a whole booth and I'm just sitting here by myself. Like I'm literally here by myself. I came back to the car. I'm finna head to the post office. But y'all, I was so hungry. Y'all know how when you real hungry, that must be the problem. Like, I just couldn't eat my food. I ate a couple of spoonfuls and then I was like, I need to go box. I ended up ordering. I usually get the catfish and the um, grits, but I just wasn't in the mood for that this morning. So I just ordered the grits with the chicken sausage and the gravy mixed up with some eggs. I'm at the post office all early. I'm the first call here. They don't open till 9 and it's, what, 8.47? I usually only come to the post office like maybe once a week, two times at most, but I don't be feeling like driving down here. So this is just some words of advice for any content creator, business owner. Be smart about your P.O. boxes. I never open P.O. boxes that have the same zip code as where I live at because people are psycho and they will try to track you down by the zip code. This is where I'm taking my acting class at. Nick Conti's Professional Actors Studio. And the funny part about it, I used to work over there across the street at Bethune Law Firm, child. Quick story time about that law firm over there. If it wasn't for them, I don't think I would've ever got into trucking because I got laid off from there. And at first, now don't get me wrong, I don't wanna throw no shade. This ain't no shade. They were good at first, but what I realized, I quickly realized is they hire a, a lot of young black females that they can manipulate and control at a cheap rate because they're inexperienced. And it's a black law firm. They don't get you your money, but on the worker side of it, yeah. Hopefully things have changed. And that's all I'm gonna say about that one. But thank God that I got laid off from there because I got my career started in trucking. Have y'all ever felt like you just don't know what direction you wanna go in? It's like, I'm so many opportunities are coming my way, which I am grateful for. I'm not complaining at all about it, but it's so much in different areas that I don't know which one to prioritize. Like I got so many acting, uh, opportunities coming. I got other opportunities coming, trucking opportunities coming. And it's just like, God damn, like, <laughs> and this is where I think I'm probably gonna have to start like getting a team because I'm trying to do everything by myself. Like I'm trying to respond to emails. I'm trying to um, submit headshots, do, do my, keep my resume updated and all this stuff and then create content on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm trying to do more YouTube. Like this is a lot for one person. So it can get stressful. And I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. I think in my last video, I had told y'all that I was about to start working for Centerline drivers. That fell through. It was kind of good that that fell through because I got the other opportunities, like the acting stuff, and I wasn't gonna be able to drive and do that at the same time, so I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm about to start team driving with one of my homegirls, China Trap. Y'all gonna see her later on in some of my podcast episodes, but me and her finna start team driving, and we finna run it up, okay? With the both of us, we should be able to clear a bag, several bags, okay? When I go inside, they say ain't no phones allowed. So, I'm gonna continue this video after class. Of course, I just got out of class. Y'all know I couldn't have my phone, but class was real good. I learned a lot. It's amazing the shit that we think we know. And I ain't no shit. <laughs> now, I ain't gonna say all that, but I really learned some stuff. For real, for real. I can't wait to go back next week. I wish I had class five days a week, yeah. I'll be in there five days a week. Those of y'all wanting to move to Atlanta, baby, we full. We are full, okay? Your girl finally made it home. I really need to be in the bed right now, but I decided that I'm gonna finish this video. I told y'all I had some shit to talk about. I done told y'all one of the reasons why I was stressed the fuck out. And the rest of it is because I was dwelling too much on losing people. When I tell y'all I started losing people left and right, 
And when I'm talking, when I say losing people, I'm talking about relationship wise, friendship wise, even distancing from my siblings and other family members. I be really having a heavy heart because I can't understand like why this is happening. And I'm so emotional. I be emotionally attached to people and it's hard to detach. And so I'm learning to deal with that because everybody can't go with you to the next level. It ain't meant for everybody to go with you to the next level. It's not meant for me to go with people to the next level. And I have to accept that. And I'm still learning to accept that and it's hard. Y'all, it's so hard. It is so, so hard. Especially when you feel like those people are supposed to be with you. And it's so crazy. Get on YouTube and two videos popped up. And when I tell y'all, those videos was to the T, both of them. Everything that I was thinking was everything that these people were saying in this video. And that really made me wake up, like snap back into reality. Like, girl, you're not the only one that's going through this. You're not the only person that's losing people. I had to go ahead and cut that little section short because I would have been here all day. And baby, my eyes like want to close so bad. I just want to go to sleep and that's what I'm finna do. So I'm about to go take these clothes off and take me a nap, baby. That's gonna be all for this video. That's all I got. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, share this video so YouTube can push it out. And I will holler at y'all the next time. Ooh. Yeah, V Lee.